What is up guys, Poison Ivy here, and I found more Pokemon Go Nest. As you already know, the nests have migrated again, so it's pretty bad timing because I just made a video about the Pokemon Go Nest that I found recently. So it's taken me a while, but I found a bunch more nests. Now they're mainly in the Seattle area, so I'm sorry to anybody that watches this that isn't around Washington or anything. But yeah, these are going to be mainly for Seattle. Now before I get to any new ones, I want to talk about the nests that I've already talked about in the previous video. And that first one is the Magmar Nest in Les Grove Park. Now if you've watched that video after the nest migrated, I want to apologize, especially if you don't live anywhere near Auburn. Because I made you travel that way for no reason, because the Magmar Nest is gone. I went there recently, and it seems like there's a lot of Magikarps there now, and I also caught a good amount of Eevees, so I'm going to label that one a Magikarp and Eevee Nest. Now the next nest that I'm going to talk about is the downtown Bellevue Park Nest. It used to be a Dodua Nest, but now it's a Shelter Nest. Now thankfully the Charmander Nest in Lincoln Park hasn't changed. And I don't really see it being changed in the future, but if it does, I'll keep you updated. Another nest that's still the same is the Bulbasaur nest in Kelsey Creek Park. I was actually just there today and I caught like 10, so that one's still good. So one of the new nests that I found was in Volunteer Park in Seattle, and it's a Dodua nest. And I'd even go as far as to classify it as a Mega Dodua nest. When I was there, at least three to four spawned at a time, and they spawn pretty frequently. Another new nest that I found was Kubota Garden in Seattle, and it's a Jinx nest. Yet another new nest that I found was in Cal Anderson Park, and it's an Execute nest. Another place that I recently checked out was Boeing Creek Park, and it turns out it's a Kabuto nest. Another Magikarp nest that I found was at Gasworks Park. Now I also heard a rumor that Herring's House Park spawns squirtles when it rains. And I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm gonna because I know it's gonna be raining soon, so I'll let you guys know. Yeah, those are some more nest locations in Seattle. If you know any more, let me know in the comment section down below. And as soon as I know more, I'll make sure to make another video. Oh yeah, and one more thing, I don't want it to seem like I'm taking credit for these nests. I just did a lot of research and I got lucky at times. So yeah, I'm sure other people have found it before me. But yeah, I really hoped any of this helped you out at all. I just figured that sharing information like this makes the game fun for more people. So I'm not really sure if I want to make this channel fully dedicated to Pokemon Go. So there might be videos where I do different things like play video games i might even draw i don't know it'll be random at times but either way if you watch any of the other ones i hope you enjoy it so as i was searching for more pokemon nest i decided to get as many 10k eggs as i could and see what i could get i tried to get to a full set of nine but i ended up only getting seven which is still really good. And I ended up hatching some really, really good Pokemon. So the rest of this video is pretty much going to be the Pokemon that I hatched, plus some of the rare Pokemon that I caught when I was searching for Nest. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Thank you.